Hello and welcome back. In our previous video, I have showed how to work and make the adjustment for our personal use in today's section so that you know how to make the edits and adjustment on this section. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit these parts. So let me just reload them and let me show you how beautifully these are going to work as you can see here. So now I am going to work on these numbers, going to work on these texts and I'm going to change the background which is by default we have given to a new background all right so let's just get started I have to copy this completed project to find it out on our blogger backend easily so let's just copy and go back to the backend and after that select this uh, existed text which you have used in the previous search and replace them with the new one let's hit enter and it has just found out our uh, matching up information as you can see completed project and just take a look here on completed project we have got 310 completed project here so let me just explain this part completed project is the main title and here we have got the value 310 so now if i want to change it to let's say 215 as an example you can simply do that by going here and here class value data target then let's say 200 and let's say 15 all right and now if I just click on sorry if I just click on save theme and let me just go back to the website reload this page we are going to see 215 here and here on instead of 15 and instead of design award I'd love to put let's say freelancer award and I would like to say four freelancer awards so let's let me show you how to change this part so let's just go back here and you will find the next section which is this one as you can see data target 15 and design award so we have to make the change in the title section select the design award or let's say design only and then let's put freelancer and after that let me put here four so it will be four freelancer award now it's a, if i just click on save theme and if i just reload it here it is going to be four all right so freelancer award for completed project 215 and i want to reduce the page likes from uh, 39,000 to only 9,000. and after that i'm going to change this current projects to let's say two current running projects all right so it would be much uh, better for us all right so let's just go back here and i'm going to change them in one editing so as you can see here is facebook like and if i have got this value here so let's keep facebook like as it is and let me just delete this three from here and we have got 9018 and if you want to make it change then so let's say 921 and after that let's find out the next section which is current projects and i'm going to uh, make the change here instead of current let's say running projects and let's put uh, running projects three running projects are being uh, we are working on as an example and let's click on save theme and now if i just reload this page We are going to see 215 completed project, four freelance award, 9021 Facebook like, three running projects. All right. So whatever you want, you can place them here. These are really easy as I have showed. And it's time to work or actually replace the background image with our image. So let's just type out here. Let me select this part, delete them, and let's type out dot p uh, sorry jpg, which is for JPEG. All right after that hit enter and you are going to find some matchups as you can see this one let me see if it is the image we have to find out the image there are only three images, so it is really easier so i've just pasted it here and no not this one we are looking for this background so let's just hit enter again and we are going to select from http from here as you can see http to this jpg so copy and after that let's let me just delete this one from here and new tab paste and hit enter and this is the background that we want to replace and i want to place let's say this website into the background or this photo into the background so let me just upload this one into our page section which i have showed or opened here all right so let's just click on this let me just click here into the bottom and click on this image icon and then choose files after that select the image that you want to keep in into the background and then click on open 
after that you have to select the image click on add selected again the same thing click on the image click on original size then right button of your mouse then you'll find copy image address so copy it and go back to the blogger backend and select the from https or http whatever it is to this .jpg part and after that paste it here and now if i just save the theme let's go back to the website and reload this website here it is going to be changed as you can see right the background has been changed and we don't need this one and now we have to work on this portfolio section where we are going to add three portfolio if you have more you can add more so we are going to talk about this into the next video